I've been rocking Sandra Mod now on my phone for some time, and as much as I'm liking the flavour of Android, uh, there's no actual way to change the lock screen wallpaper, as you can see just here. And I'm hoping in this video to show you at least one method of being able to at least select and put on your own lock screen wallpapers to your phone. In preparation for your lock screen wallpaper, you want to go onto your phone settings, go all the way down to the bottom, click on about phone, and then go all the way down to the bold number and rapidly tap this. After a number of clicks, a message will pop saying you're now a developer. You can now exit that and click on the new menu item above, which is developer options. On here, you need to go down to Android debugging and enable that. Here a message should pop up and you can now click OK on that and then you're done here. You're now going to want to move over to your computer where you're going to be downloading and installing a couple of things. This includes Android Studio, uh, which is where you'll be actually creating your theme and therefore your lock screen wallpaper. And imaging editing software, I am using GIMP, although it doesn't really matter if you use a different one for this, uh, but GIMP will be linked in the description if you don't already have it. And finally, you also need to have a theme template file. Uh, this is just so you're not creating the entire theme completely from scratch, and there's only a few things that you actually need to change in it. Uh, if you don't have any of these already, then there it will be linked in the description. Also in the description, you're going to be finding a link to this written guide, which is not done by me, but it's a lot more in depth, and I will actually show you how to do a load of other th cool things with the themes. From here, you can actually also find the links to the Android Studio and the theme template. Before you begin, you're also going to want to make sure you have the Java development kit, uh, which I'll also link in the description. So now you've downloaded and installed everything you need, it's time to launch Android Studio. In Android Studio, you want to open up your theme template. Mine is saved onto my desktop, and you want to open up the first folder, and then click on this one here, and then click OK. Uh, you would have now loaded up your theme template, and where you can go over to uh, your theme structure, and you want to make sure you open up each folder and go down to your lock screen wallpaper and load it up. I've actually already edited mine, uh, but you'll have a sort of basic picture there, and you want to go and open up that in File Explorer. You want to copy the original image that uh, is in the theme template. Go into your image and editing software and then paste it. And now you can begin to make your edits. So once you have made your edits, uh, you want to click export on the image. But first you want to make sure that anything you actually want to see on your phone or tablet is in the center. And unless you have a particularly high resolution display, uh, you're not going to, be able to see anything on the edges. When exporting, you want to export as the same image type, so JPG and the same image name, which is lock screen 01. So you have now got your edited lock screen wallpaper, so you want to now copy that and paste it into the original directory for the old lock screen wallpaper. And if you then go back into Android Studio, you should be able to see that the changes have now been made. You can change some of the details about your theme in the manifest in Android Studio. Uh, so you here you can change the name of the author, so if you put your name there, and you can change the name of the theme, which is whatever you want it to be. So once you've done that, if you want to do it, you can then plug your phone into your computer, unlock it, and then you can export the new theme you created onto your phone. Click Run, and click Continue anyway. This window should pop up and you now click OK on there and then it should be exported into your phone. So once that is done, you want to go onto your settings, go down to your themes. Make sure you're looking at the lock screen wallpapers. And you should be able to see that the new theme is there. Thank you for watching my video. If you thought it was helpful or liked it, then a like on this video would be very much appreciated. Or if you thought that any problems, then leave a comment down in the description. I can try and change that for a future video.
If you want to see more of my videos, then please subscribe to my channel where you will receive all the latest updates.